My name is Thomas Alain, and I'm officially the executive director of the Bach and Beethoven uh, experience. I do a lot of the back-end administration. I do a lot of kind of development for the organization. Music's origin was always around events or around people. Uh, you know, it predates history. We don't know when music really began, but from what we can kind of tell, it always was around ceremonies. So Chicago Stories is really a project focused on people in Chicago. And it can really be summed up by saying it's music about Chicagoans, written by Chicagoans, and performed by Chicagoans in Chicago. I mean, it could not be more Chicago-centric. I am the artistic director of the Bach and Beethoven Experience. I was one of the founders of the Bach and Beethoven Ensemble, as it was previously known. We're really interested in taking classical music out of its jewel box and transforming it to be, like it was back then, a very social part of the culture, a very social part of people's lives. It also gives us uh, the ability to really tear down those walls between performer and audience, making the audience even more so a part of the performance. The Chicago Stories means to us a really important step forward artistically for our ensemble, but I think um, I think it what it what it did for me personally was remind me why I'm a musician. My name is Amos Gillespie. I'm a composer and a saxophonist. I write music primarily for chamber ensembles, like contemporary classical, uh, but I also write music for film, uh, music theater. My compositions tend to have somewhat of a neoclassical style with uh, a bit of jazz influence and a bit of contemporary or avant-garde influence. So that's sort of the way that I try to get people hooked. My primary focal point is, is kind of a European classical tradition. My name is Heidi Jostin, and I am a composer, pianist, music director, harpist here in the city. I wrote two compositions for this Chicago Stories, as well as my um, colleagues did. My two stories were specifically about two women in the city who are in leadership positions, positions of power. I just wanted to tell stories. I wanted to enhance a story with music. I, and then eventually in my undergrad, I fell into musical theater, which eventually had me fall into opera. And so I've spent a lot more time in opera since I moved to this city. Chicago Stories Project really, really changed my life and gave me a whole new perspective that I never thought I was going to get. So greatly appreciative to all of you for this. My name is Eric Malmquist and I'm a composer. I created two Assyrian songs for their first Chicago Stories concert. They uh, are both based on the texts of uh, local Chicagoans that are originally from Iraq and came here as refugees in the 1980s. I learned a lot about Assyrian culture and Assyrian popular music over the course of doing research for this project. So I really try to take those two venerable traditions and combine them in an interesting and new way. We always love communicating with people who want to be a part of our BBE family. The future for BBE is extremely bright. We're on our way, we're getting our stride, and we're excited to see like what more we can do um, to change the face of classical and early music in this community.